Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Alex from GPG Guys Playing Games, and I'm here today joined by my color commentator, Montego. Red, blue, green, purple, yellow. Oh, uh, wait, did I say purple? <laughs> uh, okay, we got a new color here. So today we'll be counting down the top five foods in video games. And first off, to kick it off with number five, we're going into Fable 3. Yeah, kind of an old game, stuff like that, but you can just eat a ton of food in it. And eating food in this game makes you really fat. And if you become really fat, you're really slow. Kind of pointless, but you get your attractiveness bar way up by eating a lot of food. It makes you seem really rich. Alright, you want to talk about the second one that's coming up here? Alright, uh, Pokemon. If you give uh, the Pokemon berries, I guess it makes them heal. And it's uh, pretty beneficial when you're in the middle of battles or study things in that nature. Alright, yeah, Montego, the color coordinator and Pokemon master here. You're gonna give them blurple berries, you know? Yeah, so pretty much, depending on whatever berry you give them, it gives them a different uh, effect. They'll eat it themselves in battles. So it's pretty good because you don't have to skip a turn or whatever. Yeah, this was you playing, wasn't it? Yeah. I think. Wouldn't you, uh. Oh, yeah, that was me playing. I did not think I was gonna make it. I just kind of sped run through it. Looks like we just found the crack house. They're just throwing away mushrooms everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, so this comes in at number three, because it is an iconic video game with the uh, Mario mushrooms and everything like that. And most of you probably know what it already does already. Eat a mushroom, makes you bigger. And stronger. You know, that I think about it, this is a really messed up game. Other people say Mario's a Soviet, you know? Fighting American. Did you see, look, I got small. Oh, gotta take my steroids, my mushrooms, make me big again. <laughs> Alright, this is one of me and uh, Montego here's favorite games, I guess. No, not really. It was a fun game to play for a while. It's a pretty good co-op game. But food is a big thing in this because every time you get hit by a zombie or another uh, maniac cycle enemy, like that guy, uh, what was his name? Uh, crap, I forgot his name, but he was crazy and he had on roller skates. Yeah, but as you see we're gonna, right here, we're going to combine a taco and a 24-ounce big liter of soda. Who doesn't love tacos and big liter sodas? I do. Well, this is actually the first time I actually created this um, energy drink or whatever, and it seems like it's called Untouchable. And so I was kind of curious to see what it does. At first, I thought if I hit this zombie that it would kill him instantly, but then I came out here and noticed all the other zombies weren't even attacking me. So, And then, yeah, that one did attack me. But my health's not going down, so I'm guessing maybe this stuff is... And vulnerability or something. Or like the name says, untouchable. Exactly. Alright, yeah, this is, comes in at number two. Not a lot of people know about it, but number one here, pretty iconic. I don't know if it's like the best food, but it's a really good tip for any video games in food. You got the Minecraft pig. <coughs> and little known fact that if you hit them with a bow of flames or catch them on fire, when they die, it becomes cooked pork chops. So, don't go lighting real pigs on fire in real life, because I don't really know if you're going to get cooked pork chops out of that, but you get cooked pork chops there. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Alex and Montego, my color commentator. Red boo, ah, uh, crap, boo? Yeah, we're working on our colors. Alright, join us next time on GPG for another Top 5 Countdown.